Hi, I'm Jacqueline Elliott. If you're new to sales and you're afraid of what to say, here are some tips that'll help you break the ice fast. Who likes being the new guy or girl? Nobody. See, I started the business in 2004 and I remember that I had to learn certain things really quickly in order to be successful. And one of the things that I really, really had to learn really fast was breaking the ice and knowing exactly what to say within the first 30 seconds because most of the time, people aren't going to like you. They didn't like me. Um, that's the way it works, you know, because salesmen have a bad reputation. They're known as a sleazy car guy typically and, you know, we have to to basically break the mold. So it doesn't matter what they think of salesmen before they see you, it matters what they think of you after they leave. So one of these things that we're gonna go over is, you know, a lot of times people when they're new, they don't know what to say or what to do and they get in their heads. They don't have the confidence to say, hey, you know what, I've got this, I just gotta be me, I've gotta be real, I've gotta be genuine and just get out there and just show, genuinely show them that we care. So one of the things that I like to say is, hey, you know, do I look the part? Am I dressed in a certain way? Do I look clean? Am I going to turn anybody off with what I'm wearing? And am I wearing a smile? Because the best thing you can possibly wear is a smile because everybody loves somebody that smiles. You know, who's going to turn you down or be mean to somebody that's smiling? I mean, sometimes you'll get that person, but hey, most of the times that's not the way it works. Most people actually, you know, like people that are happy and, you know, they're drawn to people that are happy. And if they're not, then you're around the wrong people. But the point is, hey, lead them with a smile. That's the most important piece of uh, anything you could wear is being happy and smiling. So one of the things that is important that you want to show them is that you genuinely care. So you don't want to be an kisser, okay? So you want to be genuine and ask them questions, attentively listen to what they say, what their concerns are, and really focus on that. So a lot of times we're thinking ahead of what we're going to answer and what we're going to say to try to be ahead of the game. We think so far ahead that we don't really focus on the moment and we lose all credibility with our customers. So one of the things that help you be genuine is to slow down and really soak that in and genuinely show them. Another thing, another mistake that I see a lot of people making when they start is that we tend to focus on the dominant, we try to find the dominant buyer and sometimes we go with the loud one in this situation. So if you have a husband and wife, sometimes the husband may be louder than the wife or vice versa and you go to that person and the person that's quiet, we kind of leave in the corner. But the important, if you're really, really good at what you do, you will bring that person in and kind of make them involved in in that process and bring them into the sale. So even the person that's loud is going to appreciate you for that because they tend to, since they're the quiet one, they tend to not be paid attention to, so they will appreciate that. So that's a great thing that you wanna do. Um, one thing that really, really helped me as well is another thing that you wanna do, we call this the ATM phase. So you wanna deposit before you withdraw. So one thing that I would do is I would basically go and I would tell my customers a little bit about myself. So why I love selling cars, why I I chose that dealership, why I genuinely love to help people and I have a servant heart. So one of those things that, you know, before you start asking them certain questions and everything, before you start, because sometimes we make the mistake of asking questions too soon and some, to some people, you know, they might be open to give you information, but a lot of people don't want to tell you that much, especially since we carry that bad reputation as car people. Um, they don't want to open up to you, that you have to gain, gain their trust. So by you having that 30 second base statement and saying, hey, you know what, this is who I am, this is what I've done with my customers, this is how I truly care, it's not just a transaction, it's a relationship, and you're gonna recommend people to me and that kind of stuff and how your business is built. They wanna know that because they wanna feel like they're dealing with a true professional, and even though you are new, you can still have a structure to what you're gonna do and how your sale is going to go. So, um, one of the things, you know, after you say your base statement and all of that, as you're in the withdrawal stage, asking the question, it's like, hey, what is it that made you buy the vehicle that you came in on today? What is it that made you purchase it then? Hey, it could be, hey, you know what? It had great gas mileage, or this is all I could get approved for. Or, you know, hey, I didn't have a family then, you know, so I didn't need more room, it was just me, and I had to travel back and forth to work, and it was a long commute, or whatever it was, you know, you have to find out what that was. What made them buy that vehicle, and see if it's still important to them, certain things that they like about that. And then, obviously, you go on to why you are replacing it. Why you are replacing it would be like, hey, what would you change on it if you had to change one thing on that vehicle right now? What has changed in your situation 
today that has made you have to look for vehicles possibly like did your family size change you know are you having a baby or you know hey maybe they need more leg room or maybe they don't need to travel anymore because they got a local a local job or maybe you know they have a little more money and they can afford a little bigger but whatever it is you need to that's your discover discovery phase as we're talking about being prepared in your sale and knowing where you want to go I just want to say one thing if you are new don't be afraid to say that you're new. You want to make sure that people know that because guess what, you know, car people have a bad reputation. Once you tell them that you're new, if you've been selling for two weeks, tell them you've, sold for, you've been selling for two weeks. Tell them that you've been selling for two days. Whatever it is, you want to tell them and be real because they will buy off of people that are real. Not only that, they let their guard down when they know that you haven't been doing it for so long because, hey, they know that you're not a professional and taking advantage of them. That's one thing that they think, so they let their guard down. Now, if you are a woman selling, I, one of the experiences that I had as a woman is that, you know, if I had a husband and wife the women didn't like me 99% of the time they didn't like me um, and I had to learn to win them over so a lot of times they were quiet and everything so just make sure you find something you have in common with them so give them a genuine compliment they'll appreciate that if they don't talk to you try to be the talkative one sometimes sometimes we we'll wait for people's uh, reactions toward things be a leader uh, you know lead them with the smile lead them with questions that you that you and genuinely care about what they have to say and you know if you care about people you know exactly what I'm talking about about, you know, as long as you're real, you don't seem fake, and you genuinely care, then this itself would help you sell a vehicle or whatever it is that you're selling because that will take you a long, long way. So know that after all these questions, you're going to be doing something with them. So there's a structure to the sale, but when you come out, just be overly confident. Know exactly what you're there for. Be happy. Don't let the noises from the dealership or anybody else bring you down. Listen to a motivational, you know, music or whatever it is that moves you in the morning. Don't forget to carry the mood, carry a smile, be confident. It doesn't matter if you just started. It doesn't matter if you've been there for two years or whatever it has. I mean, you have to make sure that you lead and that's just it. And also, you know, make sure you're wearing, you're dressing the part, wearing something that's not going to turn anybody off. Make sure you work on that base statement so that you can make sure that people know who you are and that you genuinely care. That's what's going to separate you from the rest of the people. And have those well-placed questions of why they purchased then, why they're purchasing now and what needs to change in order to make sure you are really surfacing their needs because this business is about helping people and if you know how to truly care about people it'll take you a lot further the money will follow so if you just take those simple steps on how to break the ice and be real I mean this will take you further than anything in life are you new to sales and you hate feeling like you're new listen send me a text at 918-210-0254 just tell me I'm new and I'm going to send you some tips on what mistakes not to make as a new salesman.